All right, last winter I cut four trial rafters just to see how it would go together. And uh, these are the lower lower half of the Gambrel roof. So I have my pattern placed on here. Trace it all out. I'm going to have to cut um, seven pairs. Now, something that happens with rough sawn is the wood is not always the same width between one cut and another just because I'm using a chainsaw. So you guys have to be smart if you start using this stuff about what surfaces you should leave flat. In the case of a roof uh, rafter, I want all of my plumb cuts at the end to be the same. I want my top sheathing to be flat and flush. And I want this seat cut where it sits on the, on the top plate to all line up exactly. And I don't care too much what happens to the inside because I'm not drywalling it or anything. So that's the side that's going to have to have any error when I have it is going to be on the inside plane of the rafters so the roof will be nice and flat. All right, now I'm cutting all my seat cuts, and uh, one of the unfortunate things with a steel saw is they never touch in the back. Please, everybody, please, don't be that sloppy guy that just overcuts these a whole bunch so they touch in the back. Come on. Not really too hard, guys. Last two days have been prep days for me. First of all, down here I have a whole bunch of little short top rafters. One of my one of my long side rafters. I'm preparing to put a door right in this opening that I just walked through and one directly across. So for those, I have some jack studs all ready to go over here on this pile. Speaking of rafters, there's all my lower rafter bits. This is what the upper piece of the roof is going to look like from my upper rafters. This here is a pile of ridge material. And I've actually, ooh, almost falling down here in the hole, but I've actually roughed, kind of roughly assembled one end. That'll give you an idea of what this thing looks like. Let me back up a little farther so we can get the whole building in frame. There. I've been out here this morning making a mess. Let's see, uh, see what we got going on here. Now I have sheathing on the two short sides of the coop, so the rafters can, uh, the rafter tails can sit right over the top of it. Now I've got my little side rails on to catch the bottom of the screen, and you can probably see the roll of the screen inside. So it's going to be time to start cutting the stuff and stapling some up. All right, I've got the top half of the screen on and the uh, upper trim board. And this is why I was saying I had to wait for the roof the way those sit. So I start to preload my rafters up on top and I start putting those up. All right so far each one of those is only held on with one screw that's why they're kind of crooked and hanging around all over the place. But uh, I'm going to take a quick a quick uh, reprieve from the bugs. I'm going to get out of here for a few minutes and uh, go itch <laughs> and I'll be back out to continue. A little bit how I'm lining this roof up all by myself here. Um, I know the width of my Gambrel roof so you can see this mark over here is the left side rafter. This is the center of the ridge, or that's a ridge rather. And this would be the right side ridge, it would be right here. So I know if I plumb a line up from here, it wants to be perfectly in line with this tip here. So I'm kind of laying out my ridge and getting this in. I also know the distance be between these two, what they want to be because of my layout, and I know that this wants to be level. So basically I'm using all those dimensions and getting a few of these put in place and kind of held together so I can place the ridges up here. Can you guys see these flies? 
Yeah. Alright everybody, well, I've had about enough of the uh, black flies for tonight. They are just eating me alive, driving me crazy, and uh, I've reached about the limit of my madness. But uh, let's, let's see what we've got. Let me turn you guys around. So, one last look before we go in. Uh, screen on the bottom, the upper half. Nice 1x6 trim board across that. There's our rafters. A couple of braces, and then my first little bits of ridge. And uh, once you start putting those ridge pieces on, man, that thing starts straightening right out and looking great. So I can't wait. Guys, I'm loving how this is coming out, and uh, if the bugs leave me alone enough, I will finish it up. But see, see you guys soon, and thanks for watching. Thumbs up, please.